Hello everyone, I am Divya, your math facilitator and in this video we are going to discuss few problems of chapter 1 of class 7. We have already discussed the concepts of chapter 1 of class 7 and you can get all the videos by clicking on the i button. So now let's get started. So this is the first question where you have to arrange these integers in the ascending order. Okay. So what is ascending order? Ascending order is nothing but small to big okay now among the given numbers always the negative numbers are smaller yes negative numbers are smaller than the positive numbers so you can see that you have a negative integer in this so minus 5 is the smallest of all yes and you will be comfortable with the positive numbers so you can see that one is the next smaller number and 2 is the next one and 6 is greater than all the numbers yes so minus 5 1 2 6 is ascending order of the given numbers okay now let us see the next bit so here you have two negative numbers okay so just let me represent it on number line this is 0 1 2 3 this is minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 and so on yes now you have minus 3 okay negative numbers are smallest as i told you now you have two negative numbers minus 3 and minus 18 now as you move to the left on the number line the value of the numbers decreases okay as you move to the left on the number line you find smaller numbers okay the numbers as you move to the right on the number line you find bigger numbers this i have explained in the introductory video please check the introductory video before solving the problems okay so now you can see that minus 3 now you find minus 18 somewhere here yes so minus 18 is to the left of minus 3 okay so minus 18 is to the left of minus 3 that means minus 18 is smaller than minus 3 okay the numbers which you find to the right side are always greater so minus 18 is to the left of minus 3 you can see so minus 18 is smaller so minus 18 you will write first okay then after minus 18 you have minus 3 clear so after minus 3 you have 0 and after 0 somewhere here you will get 12 clear so if you have any doubts regarding integers you can just draw the number line so that you will be sure with your answer now next bit ascending order so you have three negative integers in this okay now out of these three negative integers you can see that minus one is to the right of all these integers okay you have minus six somewhere here yes so minus six minus four then you have minus one okay so simple ascending order is minus six then the next bigger number is minus 4. The next bigger number is minus 1. And you have level somewhere here. Okay. So this is 11. Okay. So minus 6, minus 4, minus 1 and 11. Okay. Now we shall find the descending order of these numbers. So descending order is big to small. Okay. So among the given numbers, 9 is the biggest number. So you will write 9 first. Okay. Then the next biggest number is 3. Next biggest number is 2. And negative number is the smallest among the given. So you will write it at last. Okay. Now here also descending order is nothing but you have 3 negative integers here. And you have to write from big to small. So firstly you will write the positive integer which is the bigger one. Then you can see that minus 2 is bigger than minus 4. So you will write minus 2 first. Okay. Then minus 4 then minus 8 is the remaining number okay remaining integer now let us see here descending order so first the positive number you'll write and 8 is the bigger among the positive numbers so 8 okay then you have 5 then you have 1 and only negative integer you have is minus 2 and it is the smallest clear with ascending and descending orders now let us move on to the next question now in this question you have to write the integers between these two integers and also you have to find the greatest and smallest now just see if you draw a number line okay and this is 0 and after 0 you have minus 1 minus 2 and so on and you will get minus 7 somewhere here and minus 10 is here after 7 yes so between 7 and minus 10 minus 7 and minus 10 you have what you have minus 8 minus 9 in between minus 7 and 10 okay so these two are the numbers the integers between the given integers okay so between minus 7 and minus 10 you have minus 8 and minus 9 yes and you have to find which is the greatest as i told you the number which is to the right side of the other integer is greater so here minus 8 is to the right of minus 9 yes so minus 8 is greatest and obviously minus 9 is smallest yes now in this question you can see that 
if you draw the number line so it is 0 1 2 3 and so on till 8 and here you have minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and so on yes and you want integers between minus 3 and 8 okay so between minus 3 and 8 so all these are integers between minus 3 and 8 so let us write here it is minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and this is 8 okay so all these are integers between these two given integers now which is the greatest and which is the smallest the number to the right is always greatest now you can see 7 is to the right of all these numbers so 7 is greatest now the number to the left of all these numbers is minus 2 so this is smallest okay now in this question also you can draw the number line and check okay so this is 0 1 2 3 so this is minus 1 minus 2 and so on you have minus 6 okay so between minus 6 and 3 you have these integers okay so you will have minus 5 here minus 4 minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 and you'll stop here because you want only the integers between minus 6 and 3 okay now this will be the smallest integer because it is to the left and this will be the greatest integer because it is to the right on the number line now you have to represent these numbers on the number line okay firstly let us draw the number line clear so mark 0 okay now this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 and so on so here you have minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 minus 6 and so on okay now where is 5 5 is here okay now you have minus 2 here minus 1 is here so minus 5 is here okay so 6 is here now this is 0 and you have 2 here okay so simply draw the number line and you can easily identify these numbers on the number line now the next question is that you have to represent these on the number line okay you have to represent 6 plus 2 on the number line so you will start from 6 okay you will firstly draw a number line and you will write numbers with unit distance that means with equal distance between each other okay and since you have 6 plus 2 you will start from 6 from 6 how many places will you move you have to move two places and to which side you will move to left or right you will move to the right okay because you are adding a positive integer you will always move to the right okay so from 6 you will move to right how many places two places why only two places because you have two here okay so six plus two is eight so this is six plus two clear now if if you want to do five plus minus three now you'll start from five you'll draw a number line mark the numbers and you'll start from five and you'll you are adding a negative integer to five that means you'll move where you'll move to the left on the number line when you add positive integer you'll move to the right when you add negative integer you will move to the left okay negative you will move left so 5 plus minus 3 from 5 how many times you have to move left you have to move 3 times to left okay so this is 1 2 and 3 clear so 5 plus minus 3 is what it is 2 clear now let us see what is 3 minus 7 now draw the number line and start from 3 okay you are subtracting a positive integer from 3 okay so you are subtracting positive integer this is plus 7 so when you are subtracting a positive integer you will move to the left okay subtracting you will move left clear how many places will you move left you will move 7 places to the left okay so 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 places you move left and you are ending up at minus 4 so 3 minus 7 is minus 4 okay now look here minus 3 minus 1 you have to represent on the number line so you are subtracting a positive integer okay so you will start from minus 3 and since you are subtracting a positive integer you will move to the left okay so subtracting positive integer you will move left so and how many places you are moving left only one place clear so the answer is minus 4 okay so this is minus 3 minus 1 clear now see here you will start from 5 okay and you are subtracting a negative integer when you are subtracting a negative integer you will move to the right okay when you are subtracting a positive integer you will move to the left okay and when you are subtracting a negative integer you move to the right so 5 minus 
minus 2. So from 5, how many places will you move to the right? 2 places, okay? So 5 minus minus 2 is 7. Okay, so this is 7. Now when you are subtracting, when you are adding a negative integer, you will move to left, okay? And when you are adding a positive integer, you will move right. Clear? Now when you are subtracting a positive integer, you will move left. And when you are subtracting a negative integer, you will move right. Okay? These are simple rules and you have to remember it. Clear? So now you have to compute these and I have taken 6 bits, I have chosen 6 bits, other bits I want you to do. Okay? So 14 plus minus 6. Okay? Now how we will do this? This is nothing but 14. Plus into minus, this is minus. Okay? And you have a 6. So 14 minus 6 is what? Simple subtraction, it is 8. Now look here, 225. Now this is also plus into minus, it is minus 45. So 225 minus 45 is what? So it is 180. Clear? So this is plus 180. Okay? Now third bit, this is also 14 plus into minus is minus 10. Okay? 14 minus 10 is 4. Very simple. Now look here. 100 into minus 6. So firstly you will multiply these two numbers 100 into 6. So 100 into 6 is 600 and 100 as a plus. Okay, it has a plus and here you have minus. So plus into minus is minus. As I told you, 1 plus and 1 minus, the answer will be minus. Okay, 2 minus or 2 plus. If you multiply 2 negatives or if you multiply 2 positive, the answer will be positive. Otherwise, if you are multiplying 1 positive and 1 negative, the answer will be negative. Okay, so this is minus 600. Now here, firstly you will multiply 20 into 10. So 20 into 10 is 200. And minus into minus. So there are two negatives. So the answer is plus. So plus 200 you don't have to mention positive sign. Okay. It is implied that if you are writing 200 it is plus 200. Okay. Now here the division also it follows the same rules. So 100 divided by 5. What is 100 divided by 5? It is 20. Okay. If you want you can perform the division here. 5 2 is 10. Subtracting you have a 0. Bringing the 0 down. 5 0 is 0. Clear? So 100 divided by 5 is 20. Now you have a negative integer and a positive integer. Okay? So the answer should be negative. One negative and one positive answer is negative. So I want you to do the other sums. The questions are here. Now the next question is you have to fill this table. Okay? So you have a multiplication sign in between. So now see how do you do this? So 3 into minus 2. Okay, this is nothing but 3 into minus 2. You have, if you have to fill this box, you have to multiply 3 and minus 2. Okay, so 3 into minus 2 will give you this box. So 3 2 is a 6 and it is plus 3. So plus into minus, it is minus. Okay, now come to this box. In this box, you should multiply this number and this number. Okay, so it is minus 1 into minus 2. First, you will multiply 1 into 2. 1 into 2 is 2. Okay, and there are two negative integers. So, minus into minus is plus. So, it is plus 2. Clear? Now, here you will multiply these two numbers. Okay, so 2 into 2 is 4 and plus into minus is minus. Okay, and here 0 into any number is 0. So, this whole column will be 0. Okay, similarly here also you can see it is 0 multiplied by this. So, this whole row will also be 0. Clear? Now, for this it is 2 into 3. 2 3 is a 6. Okay. And here if you want the answer for this box it is 2 into minus 1. So 2 into 1 is 2 and it is plus 2 minus 1. So plus into minus is minus. Be careful with the signs. Now here in this box it is 2 into 2. 2 2 is a 4. Okay. Now here it is 1 into 3. 1 into 3 is 3. There are no signs. Both are positive. So it is plus 3. Now it is 1 into minus 1. 1 into 1 is 1. And plus into minus is minus. Okay. And here it is 1, 2 is a 2. Okay. So this you will get it for 2 marks always. Most of the times you get it in your question paper. Now the last question for today is you have to multiply minus 1 into minus 1 into minus 1 into minus 1. Okay. So firstly let us multiply what is 1 into 1. 1 into 1 is 1. Okay. Again 1 into 1 is 1. 1 into 1 is 1. So the final answer which you get is 1. 1 multiplied how many ever times but still you get 1 as answer. Okay. So now the signs are important here. So now minus into minus is 
plus okay now this plus into minus plus into minus is what it is minus yes again minus into minus you have plus so in the final answer you are you are getting plus 1 so you don't have to mention plus so the answer is 1 okay now see here here also it is 1 into 1 into 1 into 1 so the answer is 1 but what about the sign so minus into minus is plus plus into minus is minus again minus into minus is plus plus into minus is what minus so the answer is minus 1 clear but here if you observe you are multiplying minus 1 how many times so 1 2 3 4 times you are multiplying okay here minus 1 you are multiplying how many times 1 2 3 4 5 times yes now you also know that 4 is a even number yes so if you have even number of negative numbers okay so if this minus signs are of even number here you have four minus signs yes so you have even number of negative integers so you will get a positive sign in the answer clear if you have a odd number of negative integers like this then you get a minus sign in the answer okay instead of just multiplying it in this way taking long procedure this is a property that whenever you are multiplying even number of integers you will get a positive number as answer and whenever you are multiplying odd number of integers you will get a negative number as answer and that's all for today and i will meet you with a different set of questions in the next video and don't forget to like this video also if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment section below also share this video to all your friends and don't forget to subscribe to this channel thanks for watching